OK, in this video, a bench is constructed from a plank of length 5 metres and weight 150 newtons, supported on blocks 1 metre from each end. The bench can be modelled as a uniform rod resting on smooth supports. Find the maximum weight of a person who sits on the end of the bench if the bench is to remain in equilibrium. OK, so let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on here. Here's my bench. Now, uh, we've got two supports here. Um, one meter from each end. Okay, so I'd have one here and one here. Now, for my diagram, I'm going to draw it so the person who's sitting on the end of the bench is here. Okay, so there's going to be a weight working downwards. So that means that the reaction force will only be going around that point there. Okay, so the reaction uh, force is there at R. Now, so that means the reaction force over here at the other support will be zero. Now, it's five metres long. So let me put in the one metre there. So that's one metre. OK. Um, so that means it will be two and a half metres long where its centre of mass will be. So centre of mass somewhere here. And that's got a weight of 150 newtons. So that must mean that that's one and a half metres. OK. So let's call that point A, point B. Uh, let's call that point C, that point D. OK. Right. So um, if I take moments about point B, then I've got uh, the weight which is going around that way, it's anti-clockwise, so that's positive, that's one metre away. And I've got the weight of the, um, of the bench, that's going around that way, so clockwise, so negative, so take away 150 times by 1.5, that's got to be equal to zero. And so the weight is 150 times the 1.5, which is 225. So that is the maximum weight of a person who sits on the end of the bench if the bench is to remain in equilibrium. 